So suppose you're working in Eclipse and you have a project that you want to share with somebody else. Perhaps somebody else is interested in your code and would like to take your project as is and pick up where you left off. Well, you, you want to give them your work, but how do you do that? With Eclipse, Eclipse projects, such as a simple Hello World program like this, are more than just one file. They're an entire folder full of files and other folders. So for example, here's my Hello World project. And in that project folder, there are multiple folders and a couple files. Within those folders, there are more files. And so when you want to share this with somebody, what do you do? What do you send them? Well, one way to do this is to take all of the files in a project and compress them into something that's called a zip file. And Windows users may be more familiar with zip files. On, on Macs, a lot of users use tar files, and the process that I'm showing you works just as well with tar files as it does with zip files. We're going to go with zip files. Um, basically, what we want to do is, is to compress all of the things in my project folder into one zip file that can then be shared with somebody else. Another Eclipse user could then take that compressed zip file and import it as a project of their own and pick up where you left off. So this is a good way to share projects with one another. Not the only way, but certainly a good way to do it. First, just a little bit of background about zip files. Basically, a zip file is a bunch of files and folders compressed down into one file or folder. Uh, sorry compressed into one file. So here, here's a simple example. We've got a text file here, mytext.txt. We've got a folder, and in that folder we have a couple more files. File 1 and File 2 inside the folder, and we have this. Suppose I want to share all of this with somebody else. Well, rather than trying to send an email or something attaching the three separate files, I can take these files and compress them to a zip file. Now the process I'm going to show you, you don't need for what we're going to do in Eclipse, but I just want to give you a quick background on what zip files are. So one way to do this in Windows is I right click, I send these to a compressed zipped folder. What Windows gives me in return is one file notice the dot zip at the end of it. It looks like a folder. It's, it's really a file. Notice the, the little zipper on the icon. And that fold, that file contains everything that was in these two. In fact, just to show it here, I will delete these. And I'd like to try to reconstruct this from the folder here. Different ways to do this in Windows. One way is to double click the file I know it looks like a folder, it's a file. When I double click it, it opens as if it's a folder and it gives me the original file and folder of other files and I can just drag those to my desktop. And You might have seen a little action going on there saying that it was compressing and Windows has dragged these around for me. Here they are. Here is my original folder that contains file 1 and file 2 along with mytext.txt and I got all of these from this file right here. So big idea here is you've got a bunch of files and folders you want to share, compress them into a zip file and then you can reconstruct everything from that zip file. So let's take a look at how that's done in Eclipse. I'll get rid of these. Don't need them anymore. Okay, so back to Eclipse. Eclipse has its own way of taking an entire project and exporting it as a zip file. And you do this directly from within Eclipse. So here I've got my Hello World project, and I'd like to take that entire project and make a zip file. I do this under the File menu. I choose Export. And within the Export wizard, I've got a lot of different ways that I can export. I'm interested in exporting a zip file, which is an example of an archive file. So I'm choosing archive file. And then when I click next, there's a place here where I can specify that I want it in zip format. 
what Eclipse will do is ask me, well, which of my projects do I want to archive? And I want to archive my Hello World project. That includes the folder and everything in it. Down here, I can choose the name of the zip file that I want to create and where I want to create it. If I wanted to browse and store it somewhere else, I could. But it's going to create, you know, let's call it my first zip export dot zip. When I click finish, Eclipse takes my entire project and creates a zip file from it. Let's move Eclipse out of the way and see what Eclipse put on my desktop. And here it is, my first export dot zip. Now remember I showed before you can double click on a zip file and it will show you the contents and there it is. I can look inside and I see it looks like I've got everything that I need. So, so the process was successful. I now have a zip file. What can you do with this? You could email it to somebody. You can share it with somebody. You can use it as a backup. Oftentimes zip files are a little bit smaller than the original files that went into them. There's some compression techniques that, that go into making files smaller than they were in the first place. What really matters though is just that it, this contains all of my uh, project folder that I had before. And just to show this, let's go back to Eclipse and actually delete my Hello World project entirely. So I'll, I'm choosing to delete it. I'll delete the project contents on the disk. Cannot be undone. So I'm going to lose my project. So no Hello World project is here anymore, but I still have this zip file that contains a compressed version of my project. So I've got this zip file. I would like to reconstruct my project. So I used export to create the zip file. Within Eclipse, I use import to reconstruct it. Now when you import into Eclipse, a common mistake here is to think, well, I exported it as an archive file. I'm going to import the archive file. But actually what I want to do is import an existing project into the workspace. The reason I can do that is I know that what is contained in my zip file is a complete Eclipse project. So I'm telling Eclipse that I want it to find the project that's inside that zip file. So existing projects into workspace. Next, I tell it where to find that project. It was on my desktop. I think I called it my first, yeah, there it is, my first zip export. Eclipse attempts to find actual projects that are compressed in that file, and it did. It found my Hello World project, and so I click Finish, and there it is. Eclipse has extracted from the zip folder a complete copy of my project, including the original source code. So now you have an idea of what zip files are. They're a bunch of files and folders compressed into one file. And you see how you can use file export to create the zip file. And then you can use file import if you have a zip file and you want to reconstruct a project from it.